my awesome students! Welcome to another episode of Fun Math Class with me, Teacher Ness. Today's episode is all about multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. And multiplying decimals by one tenths, one hundredths, and one thousandths. As always, if you like this video or you learn something new, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell down below. In the past episode of Fun Math Class, we talk about multiplying decimals up to two decimal places. This time, let's talk about multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. For example, we have 58 and 95 hundredths. We will multiply this number by 10, by 100, and by 1000. Let's go! At this moment, you already know how to multiply decimals. First, write the numbers in column and multiply from right going to the left. So the answer is... Don't forget to count the number of decimal places to the right of the decimal point. So the answer is 589 and 50 hundredths. Can you see the similarities? We are done multiplying 58 and 95 hundredths by 10. The answer is 589 and 50 hundredths. This time, let us multiply it by 100. Again, write the numbers in column and start multiplying from right going to the left. So the answer is 5,895. When we multiply 58 and 95 hundredths by 10, the answer is 589 and 50 hundredths. When we multiply 58 and 95 hundredths by 100, the answer is 5,895. Can you see the similarities? I hope so. This time, let us multiply 58 and 95 hundredths by 1,000. The answer is... 58,950. Don't forget to look at the similarities. Okay, now we are done multiplying 58 and 95 hundredths by 10, by 100, and by 1000. Now we are done multiplying 58 and 95 hundredths by 10, by 100, and by 1000. But it's quite long, right? So let's have a shortcut. So look at the product. In multiplying by 10, we move the decimal point one place to the right. In multiplying by 100, we move the decimal point two places to the right. In multiplying by 1000, we move the decimal point three places to the right. Multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1000 is quite easy, right? So this time, let's talk about multiplying decimals by 1 tenths, 1 hundredths, and 1 thousandths. We are going to use the same number, 58 and 95 hundredths. 
we will multiply it by one tenths, one hundredths, and one thousandths. Let's go! Let us multiply 58 and 95 hundredths by 1 tenths. Same procedure. Write the numbers in column and start multiplying from right going to the left. So 58 and 95 hundredths times 1. And that is 5,895. 58 and 95 hundredths times 0. The answer is 0. Now let's add. Don't forget that you need to count all the decimal numbers to the right of the decimal point. One, two, three. One, two, three. So the answer is five and eight hundred ninety-five thousandths. Hmm, can you see the difference? Or are they similar? We are done multiplying 58 and 95 hundredths by 1 tenth. And the answer is 5 and 895 thousandths. This time, let's multiply it by 1 hundredths. Again, write the numbers in column and start multiplying from right going to the left. So 58 and 95 hundredths times 1. The answer is. 5,895 58 and 95 hundredths times 0 The answer is 0 Now let's add We get the answer 58, 95 hmm, Almost the same, right? Again, don't forget to count all the decimal numbers to the right of the decimal point so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer is 5,895 ten thousands. Again, look at the difference and the similarities. Now we are done multiplying 58 and 95 hundredths by 100, and the answer is 5,895. Ten thousands. This time, let us multiply it by 1,000. Let's go! Again, write the numbers in column and start multiplying from right going to the left. 58 and 95 hundredths times 1, the answer is 5,895. The rest will become 0. 0, 0, 0. Now let's add. The answer is, hmm, same number, 5895. Again, let's count all the numbers to the right of the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer is, 5,895 hundred thousands. Hmm. Now we are done multiplying 58 and 95 hundredths by one tenth, one hundredths, and one thousandths. Aw, but it's quite long, right? So let's look for a shortcut. Look at the product. In multiplying by one tenth, we move the decimal point one place to the left. In multiplying by one hundredths, we move the decimal point two places to the left. In multiplying by one thousandths, we move the decimal point three places to the left. It's quite easy, right? Is everything clear so far? I hope so! 
now let's have the lesson summary. In multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1000, move the decimal point 1, 2, or 3 places to the right respectively. While in multiplying decimals by one tenths, one hundredths, and one thousandths, move the decimal point one, two, or three places to the left, respectively. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you have any questions and or clarifications, don't hesitate to write your comments below. See you next time!